Several years back, the resource agencies of California and Nevada decided that they need to supplement the food supply of the sports fishes in the lake. So what they did back in the 1960s was introduce into the lake something called the opossum shrimp or mysis relicta. The goal was to try and provide an intermediate sized food source for the fishes in the lake. And it did that to some extent. The Mackinac took to them right away. They feed on them relentlessly in large numbers. Even Mackinac over 20 inches, their stomachs were full of shrimp. But the problem was they hadn't really done enough good research on that. We're out to catch mysis shrimp tonight. To collect mysis shrimp from Lake Tahoe, we go out in the evening and work into the night. The reason for this is that the mysis shrimp have come up off the bottom and they're in the water column. So we send our nets down and pull them vertically through the water and collect the mysis shrimp while they're making their migrations. So mostly what we have in here are uh, diaptimus, but there are a couple of mysis shrimp swimming around in there too, and they're probably having a really good feast right now because we've concentrated all of their prey. This is about the number I would expect to get in a single net tow coming up. It also looks like we have a couple different size classes here, so it's a really good indication that the mysis are still reproducing in the lake as well. Some really big ones. In theory, they would feed the shallow water fish in the evening, and they'd feed the deep living lake trout or Mackinac during the daytime. It didn't quite work that way. Um, it did in some other systems, but not here at Tahoe. We have great light transparency here. And so, unlike other systems, Mysis will actually do a migration of a thousand vertical feet. They expend much more energy in just daily physical movements and not enough energy in reproduction. The reason the Mysis didn't effectively feed the shallow living fish at Lake Tahoe is that our shallow living species, the rainbow trout and the kokanee salmon, are sight feeders. And the Mysis shrimp, because of the transparency of light in Tahoe, don't make it up to the depths where these fish are until it's truly dark. And so there was no way for these sight feeding fish to take advantage of the mysid shrimp. And it was able to prey on some of the other plankton organisms already in Lake Tahoe and already providing food for the fishes. And it preyed upon a couple of the species to the point uh, where it almost eliminated them from the food chain. So mysis was a sort of a mixed uh, introduction. It had some success, but in some respects, it was probably not a, the best thing to do. You have to be careful what you do with Mother Nature because things happen that you don't expect. 